video quick start is the second video in the five video playlist showing how to use Screen Recorder 4. To watch the videos in order, click the playlist link in the video description. This video shows how to record the full monitor screen or record a custom area. We'll recommend settings and give tips for using Screen Recorder. Pin Screen Recorder to the taskbar. That'll make it much easier to execute it and it'll make it easier to restore it when you need to access its controls. You really want to avoid minimizing Screen Recorder while you're recording because the controls for it are on its main menu. If you minimize it, you'll have to restore it or you'll have to use the hotkeys that are available and the hotkeys are not all that reliable and they may interfere with other programs that are running. While recording with multiple monitors, you can drag the screen recorder's main window off the screen onto the other monitor so it doesn't interfere with your recording and you still have the controls available. If you are recording large areas of your desktop, you probably want to hide the desktop icons. Uh, if you're going to do that and then you're going to record something, you want to open the folder or app that you're going to be recording before you hide the icons. For instance, here's project folder. I'll open it, move it into the recording area, then I'll hide desktop icons. If you don't do it in that order, you can't see the icons or folders to open them after you've hidden them. Click here to record full screen. Now it's recording, and it's showing me how long it's has been recording. If I want to go ahead and take a snapshot of the current image, I can do that here. I'm not going to bother now. I can pause the recording. Click the white square to stop and save the recording. Here's how to record a custom screen area with Screen Recorder. For Screen Recorder to record custom area, you click here, and then you draw your recording area with the cursor. And you would adjust these numbers so that you have a 16 to 9 aspect ratio for videos to post on YouTube. I'm just going to leave it set approximately correctly and not, not bother to do a final calculation. Let's check our settings, though. I'm not bothering to minimize the uh, main screen, but it will not show up in the screen recorder recording because the screen recorder rectangle is here. So, I, as I said, I'd, I try to avoid having to minimize the, uh, the main screen. So here I've got it organized with one monitor, so there's enough room for the main screen to not overlap the recording area. That's probably the way you should generally do it if you're only using one monitor. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, if you're using two monitors, just drag this onto the other monitor and then it won't interfere with your recording. So let's check some more settings. The first time you use Screen Recorder, you should probably set where you want it to store its recordings. The way to do that is you open the Settings menu and the File menu, and you can specify where you want uh, recorded videos to be saved here. You can browse here if you need to. Uh, as you browse, you can also open a new folder if you don't have one already set up. I would suggest you put a folder on the desktop with an easily recognizable name so you'll be able to easily find your recordings. You can also on this page set the prefix name to be placed in front of the recordings, the video recordings, and a different prefix name to be placed in front of snapshots you take. The snapshots will be type uh, JPG or PNG, you can set it here. Once you've changed this to where you want it, click OK to return to the main menu. 
I am recording the microphone, and I have it set at 75, which is the ideal setting for my particular microphone setup. For help setting your recording level, please see playlist, how to record video tutorials, and watch video, how to set your recording level. The link to the playlist is in the video description. And then I'm not going to be using uh, the webcam or the hotkeys. However, I will show you how to use the preview window. You just click right here. And then once I start the recording, I'll just move, move the uh, folder around slightly and click the mouse a couple of times. So starting the recording. Move the mouse around a little bit. Move the screen around a little bit. Click the mouse here, here, and here. And then stop the recording. Next, we'll show you the recording made by Screen Recorder. Move the mouse around a little bit. Move the screen around a little bit. Click the mouse here, here, and here, and then stop the recording. In the next video, Record Webcam and Overlays, we'll be showing you how to organize your recording area and add your webcam display and one or more overlays to other things that, are, that you're recording. To do that, we'll be using the preview window, which is activated by clicking the button here. So we will be ex explaining exactly how to use the preview window also. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are also links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to open the playlist containing this video. Click at lower left to watch a video especially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes YouTube channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.